Rule 33, Equipment for Sound Signals. A vessel of 12 meters or more in length shall be provided with a whistle. A vessel of 20 meters or more in length shall be provided with a bell in addition to the whistle. And a vessel of 100 meters or more in length shall, in addition, be provided with a gong, the tone and sound of which cannot be confused with that of the bell. The whistle, bell, and gong shall comply with the specifications in Annex 3 to these rules. The bell or gong or both may be replaced by other equipment having the same respective sound characteristics, provided that manual sounding of the prescribed signals shall always be possible. A vessel of less than 12 meters in length shall not be obliged to carry the sound signaling appliances prescribed in paragraph A of this rule, but if she does not, she shall be provided with some other means of making an efficient sound signal. Let's throw this on the board and break it down a little bit. Equipment for sound signals. So it starts off, <clears throat> we say, if we are greater than 12 meters, what do we have? We have a whistle. If we are greater than 20 meters, we get a whistle and a bell. And if we are greater than 100 meters, we get a whistle, a bell, and a gong. The tone and sound of this gong cannot be confused with that of the bell. And this bell and gong they may be replaced by other equipment, but manual sounding shall always be possible. But manual sounding possible. We'll come back to here. And then if you are less than 12 meters, the whistle, is not required. So really, this stuff is not required, but you need some other effective means to make these sounds. Some other means. So usually this not a whistle is like a CO2 air horn. You screw on the top so you can replace the canister, screw on the top, push the button and they're very loud. You can hear them from a long ways away. And then this, the bell or gong or both may be replaced by other equipment. This is because at anchor, at not more than one minute intervals in restrictive visibility, you need to be sounding the proper signals. So these are automated a lot of time. They'll have that whistle automated too because at not more than two minute intervals in restrictive visibility while underway, you need to be making whistle signals. Well, I think that about sums up the equipment for sound signals. We'll get right into maneuvering and warning signals. And then after that, rule 35 is going to be bells and gongs. Let's keep cruising into restrictive visibility.